The north side tonight where some neighbors are worried after two shootings caused a SWAT standoff early this morning. This all happened near the corner of 30th and Hovey. Our eyewitness news reporter Kevin Rader was there as that standoff went down. From the front door of the house now. Only the front door of the house now. Words that reverberated through the neighborhood near this home near the corner of 30th and Hovey Street on the near north side. An overnight shooting of one person at the residence led to this request to evacuate the home. Come to the front door of the house now. Open up the front door. One by one, at least eight people in all left the home peacefully. A second overnight shooting in the neighborhood at 30th and Sangster, just two blocks away, left a car riddled with bullets. Police were trying to determine if these two shootings so close in proximity were related. Neighbors like Michelle, who declined to give her last name, were understandably concerned. The last 30 days, we finally hit a quiet path. A quiet, yes. We had no homicides, and I said, God, answer my prayer. And then to wake up this morning to see this or what happened last night, it's a hurting thing. It's a hurting thing, but we got to take our neighborhoods back. We got to have them back. We got, we got young ones around here. We have babies. At this point in time, it is not known if any of those taken into custody were actually involved in the shootings in the neighborhood. Police are still trying to sort it out. If we can go 31 days, we can go a year. The rest of our life, we can go, you know, without these, these crimes. The best thing about this SWAT standoff is it ended the way it's supposed to, peacefully. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.